So my friend Lori over at the Icing Artist and I are going to be doing some Disney villains. And I am going to be doing Ursula. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome, epic, armified Ursula doll cake. I'm excited and terrified because this is something I haven't done before. So let's get started. <sighs> So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our Ursula doll and we're going to dismember her. Now she's missing most of her torso because it's actually just all fluff. And so we're going to have to rebuild it with some edible things. I've got a whole bunch of homemade Rice Krispies treats. Homemade? Homemade? Rice Krispies treats? And I'm just going to take two and squish it together to make a disc the size of her torso. And I'm going to glue Ursula to the top of that. Now I'm gonna get my cake. Now the cake is covered in fondant that is a seafoam green or like a Tiffany blue, maybe? Something like in between those two colors. Now if you want an in-depth look at how I got my cake to this point, there is a video for you in the description box. And now that I'm here, I'm going to take Ursula, use a little bit more white chocolate and glue her to the top of that. Now this is kind of just like a cake topper sort of a deal or a cake enveloper, if you will. Now, all of Ursula's tentacles are going to be made of Rice Krispies treats. Each of these Rice Krispies treats is one and a half by two and a half inches, and is about half an inch thick. Now, I'm gonna take two of these Rice Krispies treats, and I'm gonna stack two horizontal and one vertically. And I'm just gonna squish them all together to create one big piece. Now, depending on your Rice Krispies treats, you might wanna use one or two more. You wanna make sure that these are super condensed to make sure that the Rice Krispies treats are stable. Now, as I'm condensing, I'm also forming it into a large, triangle. Each of these triangles is about seven inches long and about four inches wide. Now, if you want to make smaller tentacles, then that's totally fine. But she's kind of a full-figured woman. I wanted this to be kind of like a BBW situation, you know? Once you've got the perfect shape, you're gonna repeat the process five other times to get all of her tentacles. Now, I created these a day ahead of time and I made sure to store them in a very dry area. But the marshmallow and the sugar in this absorbs moisture like crazy. And the first time I made these, I left them out on the counter and they were just all soggy and gross by the next day. I'm gonna take my Rice Krispies treats and I'm going to form them to the top of the cake. Just decide which tentacles I wanna go where, if I wanna fold the bottom of it a little bit. Now I'm gonna roll out some purple fondants, grab one of our tentacles, and just wrap the tentacle in purple fondant. Now you wanna make sure the end of the tentacle is covered really well, but you don't have to cover the rest of the top. It's gonna to be covered by black fondant and it's just gonna hide all of your mistakes. I'm good at covering up all of my mistakes. That's why you never see the back of my cakes. And then we're just gonna repeat the process with all of our tentacles. These tentacles are no joke. So now I'm gonna refit them so I know exactly where they're gonna go. Then take a little bit of melted white chocolate and then glue our tentacles to the cake. So I drew all of my armor shapes onto a piece of parchment paper and then I cut them out. And I turned all of these cutouts into printouts that you can find in the description box. Now I'm gonna roll out some black fondant, place on top of my cutouts, and then cut them out using a knife. Now starting with the tip of the tentacle, I'm going to attach our first black panel with a little bit of water. Then cut out the second panel, place it on top, but making sure that I'm overlapping it. Now if you're smart, you would cut out all of your pieces and then apply them to the tentacles, but JK is not that smart. <laughs> now after the first three panels, I created a purple hexagon and then I attached it to where the tentacles connect. Then I'm going to place on another panel and then repeat this process with the six other tentacles. I'm gonna add some circles of black fondant at the top of each of the tentacles to lift our last panel of black fondant. Hmm, I think she needs to be taller. So I'm gonna take off Ursula, glue down another disc of Rice Krispies treats, and then place her back on. Then I'm going to roll out some more black fondant, cut out a V for her neckline, and we're just gonna apply this to her chest and her waist. Then I'm gonna place on our last panel, attaching it with a little bit of water. I wanted to add some gold elements to her top, so it's kind of elegant, but also like the badass sea witch is going into battle. So I rolled out some brown fondant, and then for her shoulders, I cut out two triangles, one that's long and then one that's short. And I just bent them until I like the shape, and then attached them to her arms. Then I cut out two long triangles to make it look like she has a metal chest plate. And for her seashell, I rolled out a piece of fondant into a long strand and then curled it up until it resembled a long seashell. Now to highlight this seashell, I just took a diamond and then I twist the bottom. 
Then I just took some water and then applied all of our top ornaments. Now all of this was done by hand, but I made sure that all of this is also on the printout so you don't have to worry about this. All you gotta do is fold and twist. Thanks, JK, for doing all the hard work. Oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. I wish you guys could talk back to me in these videos. Now my design also called for golden claws to go at the end of each of her tentacles. So I cut out some fondant into a triangle shape and then I just use my fingers to create the claw shape. Now I'm gonna be using some gold highlighter to make all of these pieces gold. But I wanna make sure that this doesn't get all over the cake, so I'm gonna cover as much as I can with saran wrap. Then just take a paintbrush and just very carefully brush the gold onto her chest plate and her shells. I'm actually gonna take her shoulder pieces off and brush them on a piece of parchment paper along with her claws. And I'm gonna attach them back on with a little bit of white chocolate to make sure that they hold. Then remove the saran wrap and we're almost ready to decorate. But I still need to create a couple things. So the first thing I need is a clear piping gel that's paintable. So I'm just gonna take some piping gel and just mix in some warm water. Now for her armor, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna add in some black food coloring to hide some of that gold shimmer that's stuck to the cake. I'm also gonna be using just a little bit of water for our actual cake. Now I've got some six lids, some gumballs, some shimmer. Look at that, isn't that shimmery? I get distracted really fast. All right, we're ready to finish this baby. I think Ursula is the best Disney villain. Actually, I take that back because I really like Scar and Cruella de Vil, so she's like top three. Her character design is outstanding though. When I first heard that she was designed after a drag queen, it made sense. The way that she swims is like a queen strutting her stuff on a runway during RuPaul's Drag Race. I love how big this character is. Voluptuous, yes, but she also has personality for days. Her over-the-top persona really made her an icon. Ta-da! And there you have it, your very awesome Ursula Dollcake. The gloss on these tentacles are so cool. I thought the claws actually looked better on the cake, so that's why they're not on her feet. She's slaying this outfit. If you want to see more Disney villains, head over to Lori's channel at The Icing Artist and she'll show you how to make the Queen of Carnage, Cruella de Vil. And don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you like my Ursula cake, then you'll probably love my Ariel one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make next and I will see you very soon. Bye!